Alright, another quick video. I've just gone to bolt this together. And what I thought would be straightforward is not. Uh, the threads in here are fine. They appear to be fine. I loaded up on them, torqued them up. Uh, in the book I've got it says between 12 and 20 foot pounds. So I went to about 18 foot pounds. This one over here, the next one over, started to pull. Felt like it was pulling the thread. So I thought, oh well, I haven't helicoiled those, so... There's always something, but I've pulled the bolts out. The thread in the pump body is fine. Have a look at this. I'll try and get this to focus. This bolt has failed and it started to stretch the bolt out. And you can see it's broken. Let me get this Sharpie. You can see here and there, it's actually pulled apart. So, Helicoil is not required, but this bolts, all five are going to get changed out. That's obviously dog shit steel. I don't know. However, I'm glad I didn't persevere because I would have had to have got in here and possibly drilled this piece of shit out and had to helicoil it or get an easy out in or something. But I'm very thankful that so I stopped when I did. So, lesson learned, always pay attention to what's going on when you're talking things down. If they feel like they're starting to stretch and pull, stop, double check everything. So, threads are good. We don't need to helicoil or time cert those, which is nice. I do have those here if I needed to, but I don't want to if I don't have to. These bolts, you know, they rarely come out. The oil pan, I will. Uh, probably helicoil or time cert. It's a more service prone part, but these ones here, I'll go to the uh, supplier. I'll get some new, nice high tensile bolts and replace these. All right, on to the next bit.